Hello everyone, to make the stock text effect in DaVinci Resolve, what we need to do is to take our Fusion Composition Clip straight to the Fusion page. And then the first thing we're going to do is to bring in a text node. Let's just go ahead and write our text in the text box. We can bring up the size a little bit there. Now let's go to Particles and we're going to bring in the P Image Emitter node. Then we're also going to bring a render node. Now let's just go ahead and connect all these nodes in a linear fashion. Now let's come to the P image emitter node and create an expression for the X density setting. We're going to connect it to Y density. So now let's just start to uh, bring down the Y density setting gradually. And you're going to start to slowly see all these particles showing up. Okay, so this is a good time for us to really adjust the density of the particles. And once it's reached a desirable state, uh, we can also adjust the lifespan setting. We're going to change it to the same uh, duration as this clip so that we see particles throughout the uh, this entire clip. Another thing we can do is we'll come to Style tab and we're going to change Style to uh, Angon and then we're going to change the Angon type to Circular. Uh, let's also come to Size Controls. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to bring up the size uh, setting there quite a bit. So now you're going to see these dots are becoming more uh, visible to us. But at this point, this effect still requires a little bit more work. Uh, when we start to zoom in, you're going to see that uh, there are some dots that are sort of protruding from uh, the letters and they don't look that great. So what we can do is to come to Controls tab and then uh, play with the alpha threshold there. As we bump it up, you're going to see that these little weird dots are starting to go away. So now this is giving us a, a much cleaner look. Uh, this uh, is uh, way much better. Another thing we can do is to come to the text node itself. Then let's go to the shading tab and we can also change the color. So let's go to uh, gradient and then we can play with the gradient settings there, play with some of these uh, colors and to get it to uh, however you want it to look. Uh, but the idea here is that feel free to experiment and see what works best for you. Lastly, we can come to the P image emitter node and play with, uh, for example, the precision variance setting here. Uh, by doing this, you can create uh, actually a pretty slick animation. And you can also come to the style tab here, uh, play with uh, size over life uh, or the size setting itself. Uh, by doing this, you can create a pretty interesting animation, uh, bring some life into this effect. All right, you guys, uh, so this is it. I hope this quick tutorial uh, helps. And as always, I will see you next time.